We'll talk about the Ridge Wallet in a second, but the first thing I wanted to talk about is that this video is not sponsored by Ridge. Full disclosure, they did send me out these wallets, though I did specifically ask for them, and they're not paying for me to say anything. There's no script, there's no contract I had to sign. I can literally bash these things as much as I want to, and Ridge can't do anything about- they're sweating right now. They're like, oh god, what did we just do? But that's okay, keep your sweat, because the reason I wanted to do an updated video on the Ridge Wallet, for those of you who have known. I did a video on them over two years ago on the first Ridge wallet they sent out to me, also not sponsored that time either. They sent me their kind of gunmetal aluminum one that I've been using as my only wallet ever since that video was published. And more recently, I was just thinking about how long and how good this wallet has held up for me. I'm not gonna be making tons of videos on wallets, so this is my one video, you know, every year or every other year that I'll actually talk about where I put my credit, debit, ID, and all that kind of stuff. And I was so happy with it that I thought if I was going to do an updated video, it would make the most sense to have a few of their more newer models to try out and see how they feel, see how they work. And yeah, you know, I kind of took advantage of the fact that I was, uh, I was a little internet famous. You do the same thing, but either way, I definitely think the Ridge wallets are worth talking about, providing you some updated thoughts, updated opinions, after you're now looking at an over two year user of their wallets. So now that we've spent all that time explaining why I'm not sponsored, could have just spent that time talking about Skillshare or whatever. I'm not a very good businessman. Let's begin. So what is the point of the Ridge Wallet? The reason the Apple Sheep is talking about them today and not the Galaxy S20 Plus 5G is because, in my opinion, the Ridge is like the Apple of wallets. It's all about being minimal and not packing around more than you need. There's pretty much no way you can make a wallet more compact and small. It's the exact dimensions of your average credit or debit card, and there may be ones you consider technically smaller, but it's pretty much just a rubber band strapping all of your cards together. That doesn't really count. It's still your wallet, you know, this still protects them, conceals them, doesn't showcase any information on the inside. Obviously, it's RFID blocking, so it's secure, and it's made with premium materials. I love the feeling of all the Ridge wallets I've tried out. As I said earlier, this space gray aluminum finish has been the one I've been rocking for the past two years plus, and it's held up pretty well. You know, it's got some scratches on it that I don't think anything can be done to prevent because it's just kind of physics, how metal works with time, and I've not been easy on this thing. I'm not the type of guy to baby a wallet. I have chucked this thing. I have thrown it across the table. Don't ask why I was doing those things with my wallet, it's not important, but the point is, from a functional standpoint, it still holds up perfectly. I did not need a new wallet, I just wanted one, and I wanted to talk about one, so that's why I have more here, but yeah. From a functional standpoint, this wallet is still holding up great. And the nice thing about Ridge is they still offer a lifetime warranty, so if things go wrong, you can get in contact with them, and they're gonna try to make the best out of the situation they can. And I bet the first thing you're thinking with the Ridge wallet is, this they're not that cheap. And no, this is what I mean by the Ridge is the apple of the wallet industry, okay? They're made of very nice materials. They're very well built. My one day impressions of the carbon fiber Ridge wallet are pretty amazing. I was torn between this one and this white aluminum one because back when I got my first Ridge wallet, I was kind of in the space gray phase, but now I've been moving more to kind of the matte white silver finish era of tech. Now my iPad silver, my iPhone silver, I got the silver Apple watch. So I thought the matte white aluminum complement it all of my other tech pretty well, but I'm kind of digging this carbon fiber look as well. It's a very sturdy, very rigid feeling. It's a different texture than you'd expect. You can definitely tell it's very light while still being very durable. Like it's not easy to scratch this thing up and it's actual carbon fiber. It's not like just plastic painted carbon fiber and that's why it's so expensive, okay? I'm not trying to get the point across that the Ridge makes the most affordable wallets out there. If you're looking for cheaper wallets, you can kind of find them, but that's not really the way I like to go with a lot of the stuff on this channel. You know, there are cheaper phones than the 11 Pro Max, but that, in my opinion, is the best phone. So that's why I'm talking about this, which in my opinion is the best wallet. And yeah, they're not the cheapest. But to be fair, in regards to the wallet market, there are way more expensive wallets than Ridge. They are by no means the most expensive wallet out there either. It's kind of the same way someone might say the Apple Watch is a pretty expensive watch. It's like, eh, in the watch community, there's a lot more higher priced watches than the Apple Watch. But yeah, you are also correct that you can buy some $20 watch from Walmart. It's just 
just not going to be as cool or built as well as the Apple Watch is. I get that these aren't, you know, smart wallets or anything, which is another point I wanted to bring up. There's a lot of people that whenever I like talking about uh, high quality wallets that I enjoy, they say, Drew, just use the Apple Wallet. That's what the true minimalist would use. They would use the app on their phone and do everything with Apple Pay. Well, I would love to do that, honestly, if it were possible, but sadly, in today's world, it isn't. For one, I do use Apple Pay in quite a few spaces, so I don't really have to get out my wallet that often, but there are still occasions where I can't use Apple Pay. There's a lot of gas stations I go to on trips that don't have it. There's restaurants where you're kind of at a sit-down place and they drop off the checkbook. They don't support Apple Pay, so you have to hand them a card of some kind. And also where I live, there's no way to take my driver's license or my ID and put that into my phone. I don't know if they're working on that or if that's going to come soon, but where I live, it's not possible. So in order for me to legally drive my car, I have to have a driver's license, which is why having a place for my titanium Apple card, my driver's license, and my debit card, if I ever need to go to the ATM and that kind of stuff, this is great for that sort of thing. Not to mention my health insurance card. I don't know if that can be added to your wallet. I don't think mine can. So before you all go cyborg on me and say, just use the app, I can't. Not legally anyway. And I still need to carry around a few cards where I go. But while we were on the subject of titanium Apple cards, that's something the Ridge didn't offer. For, I think last time I talked about them, they actually do make wallets out of titanium, which is a very light and very durable metal, which is super cool if you wanted to have your Apple card match your titanium wallet. I don't know, I just like having premium materials instead of just, you know, cheap cloth or cheap leather substitutes for your wallets. It's really, really fun to have something that's thin and compact, but also made out of very high quality materials. So in my opinion, these wallets go hand in hand very greatly with my iPhone, my watch. So I don't know if I'll be switching to the white wallet later, but my wife has been kind of eyeing this one so she may use it and to those of you thinking where do you put cash on it well they do have money clips on the back so you can kind of fold up your cash slide it in there and i'll be honest it's probably not the best most efficient way to store cash with you because you have to fold it up so much and then it kind of bulges out the bottom a little bit but the reason these work for me is because i almost never have cash on me google pays me via wire transfer can i say that does google freak out if i do that anyway they don't mail me a check or anything everything i get paid for online comes through digitally i pay for everything Thing, either with the physical Apple Card or Apple Pay, which means that for me, I have to go out of my way to find cash. Unless I get some money for my birthday or Christmas, I don't have cash on me. So that's why these wallets have worked super well for me. So far, I don't need a cash drawer almost any of the time, but the few times I have had cash, I will just put them in the little money clip. It works fine. No complaints there. And while, yes, I know you're looking at the site thinking these are pretty expensive, the good news is they make it fairly easy for you to get a discount. So in the link in the description, as well as the link in the comments. You should be able to get 10% off your first purchase with the Ridge, making it slightly more affordable. And the other perk is that their site does support Apple Pay, which there's a lot of websites that still don't support, which drives me crazy. Please, everywhere, support Apple Pay, which means that if you're an Apple Card user, you do get 2% cash back anyway. I figured since you're all Apple sheep watching me right now, some of you probably have the Apple Card. Eh, 2% cash back partnered with the 10% off on your first purchase. That's like 12%. That's pretty good. You know, makes it more achievable, more obtainable for some. But keep in mind, the wallet is not something you're going to be buying every year, like your iPhone or for some of you, your Mac. Like I'm buying a new iPhone every year, but this wallet I've been using for the past two has still held up great. It's still been super functional. I have basically no complaints with this wallet as a whole, which means that pretty much if you're considering buying a new wallet, make sure it's one that's going to last. And on that same theme, make sure it's the last wallet you ever have to get. So keep in mind that this is not a sponsored video. I could say anything I want right now. It's going to take a whole lot of effort on some other company's part to get me to stop using the Ridge Wallet because super compact, super thin, super light, well-built materials that can last for years and years to come, does everything I need it to. In case you were wondering how you take the cards out, you just slide with that little notch part. Hey, a notch! And swipe out your titanium Apple card or whatever credit card you use. Do what you need to do with it and then compact it back inside. Very simple, very easy. There's no Velcro, there's no sound of opening the wallet, there's no feeding through anything. It's worked wonderfully for me so far. If something goes horribly wrong, you bet I'm gonna bring it up because you'll notice that my wallet is not the same in future content. But yeah, give Ridge a look if you're in the market for a wallet. If you're not, then I'm, why are you watching a video on Ridge wallet? I don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. Get over it. Anyway, let me know if you're enjoying your Ridge wallet, if you have one already or other wallets you may consider. Just keep in mind the things I prioritized in today's video. And remember that I ain't gonna switch just because you found some other brand, even if it is a little bit cheaper. Is it this small? Is it this compact? Is it made of these materials? Are they willing to send me free units? Of no, I'm, I'm kidding. Anyway, let me know what you're thinking about hitting me up over on Twitter or joining our Discord. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.